guys, what's up? It's B with B Unstoppable again. Um, I'm just going to jump right into this video. There are a few things that I've come across lately in um, videos that watching these videos, I'm like, no, no, like that's that's bad advice. So I wanted to just do a, um, a fairly quick little video just to just give some more information on certain things when it comes to the fit of your denture or your ill-fitting denture. Um, there are numerous different adhesives that you can use out there. Um, some are cream based, some are powder, some are like wafer types. There's all sorts of different kinds of adhesive on the market. If you don't want to use an adhesive like I do, I use Fixident with Scope. Um, and, and I have no issues with it. It is sticky. When you go to take them out, you are going to have residue on your denture. You're going to have residue on your gums. It's just part of it. It's not hard to get it off. You know, if you have adhesive on your denture, you can run it under the coldest water that you can get out of your, your sink and just kind of scrape the fix it in out and it, it comes off no problem you can also just leave it on your denture and put it in your denture bath with a splash of mouthwash and fill it up with water the rest of the way leave it overnight pull it out in the morning and it is completely clean my issue with these videos is that they are telling people you don't have to wear adhesive and and you don't but if your denture is too big and it's not fitting right you need something some kind of adhesive or if you are new to the denture world then maybe it's time for a, a soft reline or an adjustment you need to be consulting your dentist or the company that made your denture first. People out there have a lot of great advice and I've taken a lot of advice from people also, but when it comes to your denture and it moving around in your mouth when you're eating or drinking or talking, every single spot that your denture is rubbing on eventually is going to cause a sore. There was recently a video that I watched where um, this person is talking about when when you're eating and your denture's moving around, don't don't worry about it. you know just you have to figure out how to eat with your denture moving constantly. and that is not the case, you guys. <laughs> Your denture should not be shifting and moving all over the place. I do have a very, very slight movement in my denture, but that's because this side is so thick and because, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the giant gap that I had over here, it doesn't sit completely flush. But I compensate with putting more adhesive on this side than I do on the other side, and I'm fine. You do not want to be eating a meal or and talking and having your denture constantly move. Mouth sores, because your denture is rubbing wrong, are so painful. <clears throat> I probably spent a week 
bathing the sores that I had in the beginning. And it wasn't because my denture was too loose or too big. It was because the person who extracted my teeth put in a soft liner and they were not supposed to. So that's why I had sores. But I haven't had any sores since then. I have had acrylic that has kind of cut in certain areas, but that's it. If you try to contract your muscles in your cheeks, around your mouth, down on your denture to stop it from moving, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to learn how to chew correctly. It's just not going to happen. Because then, you've spent all this time working on contracting those muscles that by the time you get your perms, you're going to have to relearn how to eat without your denture shifting and moving. Cushion grip helps a lot of people. I was going to try it. I'm 15 days now away from my perm, so I'm not going to try it, but go for it. As long as your dentist says that it's okay. <clears throat> there is absolutely no reason for your denture to be moving and shifting and causing you problems. There are in the beginning of your journey, you have to go so many weeks or so many months before you get another soft liner. And then after that, you'll go a few more months and then get another soft liner. In between your soft liners, you're going to have to do something. Whether it's adhesive or the wafers or the powder, it doesn't matter. But please take it from me if you take anything from my videos at all. Do not attempt to eat without your denture fitting securely. It's going to rub sores, you guys. I promise you. You know, I... To each their own. But, like I said, seeing these, these videos recently about this, it, it literally made me mad. You know, it, I bet it was... 1 o'clock this morning when I come across these videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, no. You know, and when, when you're in the beginning of your journey, don't bite with your front teeth. That is one of the first things that you should be learning when you get dentures or before you get dentures. Don't bite with your front. Bite from the side. If you bite with the front, you're not actually really... I take... Okay, most of the time, you're not actually going to con completely bite through whatever you're going to try to bite into. You're going to end up pulling it away and you're basically just going to rip it off. To train yourself to eat normal again... Bite from the side until you get comfortable with your denture, until you find the right adhesive, you do the at-home soft reline, whatever you do. Biting with your front teeth in the beginning, in my opinion, is just not something to do. You have to relearn how to bite and how to chew with your denture because... There, what's the word I'm looking for? They're stiff, I guess is what is what I'm looking for here. You know, there's, you're not going to have any movement in your, your teeth and you're not going to be able to tell in the beginning that you're, oh, see you guys, this has me so upset. You're not going to be able to tell in the beginning of your journey where exactly your 
denture is going to hit your tongue, where it's going to hit your cheeks, where it's going to hit your lips. You're not going to be able to know that until you jump back in and you start to relearn to eat again. I'm sorry I have rambled on in this video, but you know, I don't, I don't want anyone to get misinformation when people who have been through this journey and are almost done or they've had their, their denture for years, you know, they will tell you there's no reason for it to be shifting and moving and it just, to think that someone else has seen these videos and they're like, oh yeah, cool, I can go eat a cheeseburger and not have to put any adhesive in. Can you imagine being in a restaurant with no adhesive on your denture and you bite with your front teeth and your denture falls out? I don't want that to happen to me and I don't want it to happen to you. So please do your research. Um, there are numerous people on YouTube you can watch. Just, just please do your research. And if you have any questions, like I said, I'm always available to answer your questions or your concerns or, you know, if you want to scream at me for this video, more power to you. Um, but if I can help one person not get mouth sores because of misinformation, I'm going to do a video on it. So that's it. I'll stop ranting and raving. Y'all have a blessed day. Be unstoppable. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and I do have a group on Facebook now. It's Denture Before slash During slash After Support. I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.